everyone welcome back to part four of hundred baby and you guys i feel like there's gonna be a lot of things that happen april is currently in her second trimester and we're really gonna start trying to get her to earn a lot of money so that we can start banking it because i feel like once the baby comes we're not really gonna have a lot of time to spend on um like painting and writing books and another thing you guys definitely need to flood out those comments with book name suggestions because i am absolutely terrible at coming up with that so if you guys have any names that you would like me to feature on our books definitely post them down below so i'm gonna get her to do some painting and also continue on writing our book and another thing you guys also reminded me was that april has to have a different baby with a different dad so we're not going to be able to use dawn for all of our babies unfortunately but i think I'm gonna get her to possibly once she's done doing some work I think we're gonna go hang out downtown and find our next possible baby daddy and I feel like it's a good idea to start maybe working on a relationship so that once we do have our first child that we can automatically start working on the second one <laughs> as bad as that sounds that's how we're gonna do it so we're just kind of getting April to really start working on some stories. I don't know why she didn't. We're gonna resume the flirty painting. And, um, oh yes, and some of you guys also mentioned that possibly getting a cat will help us with the mice in the apartment, which I think that could be a really good idea also. And our blackberry bush, that's coming really nicely. We can't harvest it yet, but we're gonna plant those ones as well. And okay, so we have started making money. How to be a good sister. We're not really making that much money yet, but once we start approving, what? What is smelling? What in the world is this? <laughs> There's just like this random funk smell in the corner. I guess that comes with a funky apartment. Okay, so, oh, we finished a new book. All right, so let's actually, um, can we self-publish this one as well, Prepping for Baby? Yeah, so we're going to need a name for the next one because I am not very good with coming up with ideas. You guys have been honestly amazing in the comments, giving me different tips and ideas on things that we should do. And, okay, so we do have 700 simoleons working on painting. Painting is going pretty good. I love painting. I kind of want to keep some of these paintings, <laughs> but we can't right now. We actually really have to sell them. Okay, can we sell? We're going to sell this one to Collector. How's our needs? Oh, dang it. Okay, we're going to have to work on some of this also. Poor April. She is starving. Um, pregnancy feels. Okay, so let's grab some toast. Social and fun. We're pretty low on those. I think if we go downtown, I think this will be like a really good time to go down here. See who we can find. It's kind of busy down here. I keep going to him. I don't know. There's also, where's the other guys that we were kind of talking to? That's a no. Ooh, land grab. Ooh, wait. Oh, wait. Is that... Dawn. Okay, so Dawn is our first baby daddy. <gasps> Marcus, let's do a friendly introduction. Wait, isn't that friends man from the Brindleton Bay? Eliza. <gasps> we could have a baby with Eliza. <laughs> okay, so I think we did. Wait a minute. Didn't we already start a relationship with him? Maybe he just has the same name. That's strange. Okay, I think we're going to start working on him. I think he could possibly be the second baby daddy. If there are any of the other counties that you guys would like to see April have a baby with, you need to let me know because we can definitely go around in the other communities as well and kind of scope them out. Oh my god, if that ain't pregnancy, just, you know, <laughs> travel into the city and bringing food with you. It does kind of look good though. Kind of hungry, but look how big her belly is. Oh, she looks so freaking cute. Yeah, so we're going to start working on a relationship. Invite to feel baby. We're going to ask him about his day. I think right now we're just going to kind of get the relationship up a little bit with him. 
and who else could we I guess we're really just gonna zoom in on him so I think one of the really good things to do this is kind of awkward <laughs> Don's like, oh my god, I'm so ready for this. I'm gonna be the best dad ever. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Little does he know, we're kind of done with him. So while Avril is pregnant, I think it's a really good idea to start working on the relationship for the next dad. So that's kind of where we're at now. And who's about meals? Oh, <laughs> it's not going so well. Come back over here. Where's he going? Call over. We're not done with you. Wait, does he not even like us, maybe? Ask him about his day. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, there's also Aaron. Oh, but he's married to Yasminder. Who all have we met? Oh, wait, here he is. We can actually just invite him, I think, to our home. And we have Sa Salem. Oh, Salem is honestly a freaking cutie. Okay, where did April go? She's just, like, wandering around. I don't think she really knows what she wants to do scoping things out kind of has like the mario mustache i don't really know what i think about that <laughs> i think under the mustache i think he'd be all right so okay we finally are getting our social up discuss interests how's our relationship with him so far okay it's going good he's a young adult so that's good too we'll invite him to feel our baby i don't know if that I don't know if that's going to be a good idea considering we want <laughs> we want him to like stick around, ask to hang out. What if we just, how about we're going to ask him about his career. We need to ask him also if he is single. We need to find this out. Oh great, Rainish is unemployed, but he is single. Alright, so April's going to need to have a little bit of fun, kind of lacking Let's get her just to shoot around. I don't know if that's a good idea. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder what he looks like. <laughs> Freaking townies. Oh, and there's him. Oh my gosh, there's so many Palo. Yeah. Okay, what do we have for fitness? Oh, April and her. That's me. <laughs> that's exactly how I play. Through the knees, over the head. She is so cute. I love April. She's like one of my favorite townies. Hopefully this doesn't like induce her labor. We are, oh my gosh, we're in the third trimester now. Okay, that came a little, I didn't realize <laughs> we were in the third trimester. All right, so I guess it's any day now we're gonna be expecting our bundle of joy. I can't freaking wait. I think maybe we're gonna go back home. And then I think we could do some painting and make a little bit more money. I would like to get possibly over like a thousand simoleons. And I think we're going to actually invite either Akira or Salem over so that maybe we can do stuff with them. And as they're over, we can improve the relationship some. So let's call, I think we're going to start with, um, invite to hang out, let's call Salem. I think he is overall just like a really good guy. So fine. Let's do some painting. Classic pop art. Let's do pop art. We're going to do some of this. So Sims is nearly full term. More than ready to have a kid. And oh, I'm so nervous. I'm kind of not ready to have a baby. <laughs> not going to lie. All right, Akira, you come on in. Can we just like... And ask him about his day we're gonna set things up with him we do have the romantic aura now at the host so i think that's really gonna help us out uh, have dinner boast about family can we just do ask about day let's ask him about his career he kind of looks a little bit cranky today maybe it's not his day maybe yeah let's just ask him about his day i feel like he's i don't know he's kind of a little bit cranky oh he's a blogger at walrus books oh my god that's like almost fate i mean we're trying to be a book writer maybe he could even give us some tips i think that could be good we're gonna have to fix our leaky our leaky pipe here Okay, so how's the relationship going with these two? Oh, he's on the top row now. 
So we are just still acquaintances. I kind of would like to, I don't know, at least get a little bit into the pink <laughs> before the baby comes so that we are kind of prepared. Oh, Salem. Oh, he's lazy. Well, it's a good thing we don't need him to stick around. I don't know if he's really that romantic. Let's just ease into it with a little bit of flirting. He just looks permanently cranky. I never really realized that about Salem before. Nope, he's not feeling it. All right. Well, maybe you should go then. Oh, wait, let's discuss color theory. I mean, he is an artist as well. Or a book writer, maybe he will appreciate that. No, I don't want to scrap painting. Okay, we're two tens to finish the painting, but I think that's going to look so cute. <laughs> I kind of think that would look actually a little bit adorable in the kids' bedroom. But, all right, let's kind of work on April's needs a little bit. She needs to have some fun, so I think we could... I think we can just come in here. Oh, we can't even practice. Let's watch a movie with Salem. Something fun. Um, Watch some wonder. Moonlight Massacre lost dog's journey home with Salem so hopefully this will kind of let us cuddle a little bit maybe we'll get to know Salem a little bit more and hopefully he'll be less cranky because <laughs> I'm kind of feeling a little bit awkward I don't know I mean April I think she's just oh this girl is in so much pain she needs a back rub she really should go to the spa but we don't really have that much money like Salem, like, <laughs> feel free to come sit down with us. Look how embarrassed she is. Okay, he's finally coming down. He's like, I don't know. He's making this so awkward. I kind of feel like April's not too sure. She's just like, I don't know. I kind of actually like him, but I don't know. I'm kind of. Oh, it's a sad movie. Oh. <laughs> All right, so any day. I feel like, I don't know, in the nighttime. We're going to go into labor. All right. Well, it has brought our fun up. Has it improved our relationship at all? No, we're still... Let's try to do... Now that we're not really feeling awkward anymore. He didn't like flirting. Maybe we'll offer him a rose. We're going to offer him a rose before we send her to bed. I think we still have a little bit of time that we can do that. <gasps> Is he going to like it? Oh my god, thank god. <laughs> and he melted. Okay, so that's really gonna work in our favor. Let's try now. Let's try to kiss his hands. We'll try that interaction. Maybe he is a little bit of a romantic, he just doesn't know it. <gasps> and that worked out really good too. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm really happy now. <laughs> Let's do one more since it's going pretty good. Let's compliment his appearance. I don't know. That might make him a little bit awkward. Oh, she needs to go to bed. All right. Let's. He'll be fine. I feel like it might be a good idea to keep him here just in case we do actually go into labor. So we're going to send April to bed. Or no. Maybe we'll get him to leave because we're not going to be able to sleep. Okay, we're going to ask him to leave. We're going to claim our bed, which I thought we already did that. And we're going to send her to bed. She's going to need a lot of sleep. I feel like once the baby comes, we're going to kind of be a little bit exhausted all the time. So we need to make sure that April has as much sleep as possible before the baby comes. Like any moment, I feel like her water is going to break. <laughs> Bladder's down. All right, so let's go get her having something to eat before she explodes. Grab a serving. Okay, so Salem did actually leave. And we're still in the third trimester. So it might take a couple of days, I guess, before her water breaks. I mean, I think we're in day two of third trimester. Yeah, we're going to get her to have something to eat. And then I think we'll be able to work on a few more things. I'm going to get her to start another book, even though I have no idea what to title it. <laughs> so, yeah titles <laughs> I need them all right so April we're gonna get you to resume the painting first 
Where's all our money going? I haven't even bought anything. That's strange. I think I'm actually going to brighten this bedroom up a little bit. I'm going to make it just kind of, um, just really cute and bright. I feel like we are going to be having a little girl, so yeah, <laughs> we might have to like come in here and change things up a little bit. Oh, we're tense. Oh, dang it. I never even noticed them anywhere. Hmm. Oh, there they are. Okay, we're going to have to spray them. Oh, should we? We should just probably complain to our landlord. I mean, with the mice and the cockroaches, we're like just completely swamped with, I don't know, a menace. <laughs> we can't relax and we're going to be having a baby. Like we can't constantly have to worry about that. So, ooh, since you're a tenant, should we maybe introduce ourselves to him? I think that's a good idea. Um, let's get, let's boast about family. Just to let him know that we do have a family here, so we can't really be putting up with this. So maybe that will make him come over a little bit more just to make sure that the apartment is looking good. We'll invite him to feel our baby. <laughs> family oriented lesson, yes. Okay, so we're embarrassed we made it worse. Tried to fix an apartment problem, that's fine. Story of my life. All right, so now we can go over and actually do our painting. Is he gonna fix the mice also? I mean, he could. No, we're not gonna attempt to repair. Oh my gosh. Is he gonna like fix any of this stuff? Why do we have this constant stench in our apartment? Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. And there's more mice here. Why is he not doing anything? Now we're having a conversation. You're supposed to be working. Is it gonna help repair? Oh, thank goodness. I really don't have time to do that. Hopefully he gets rid of the mice also. We need to get those out of the kids' room. I don't know, I feel like maybe we should have put the daughter's room. <laughs> Over here, you watch, we're gonna have twin boys just because I keep saying we're gonna have a girl. That's exactly what's gonna happen. You watch, I kind of wanna keep this painting though. It's kind of like her thoughts on the family. Like this is her with her frazzled hair. We've gone shopping and then these are like her children to come. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this painting because I think that's actually cute. Oh, she needs to pee. Let's fix this. We're gonna get her to do another painting. Yeah, I kind of really like that one. <laughs> We're gonna keep it it's just kind of like her outlook on life and the children so let's do another pop art painting I actually really like that one and we need some more money where is all of our money going every time we do a painting but I didn't remember doing that many all right so I guess we could write we might have to practice writing just to get our skill up a little bit more to start earning a little bit more money. And we'll have to water. Can we harvest? Ooh, we can. We might as well water while we're there. And we're probably gonna have to invite Salem over. She is getting tired. I feel like, you know, the moment's almost there. Why is he not? Oh, thank God. He fixed both, so we don't even need to worry about that. Yeah, we're definitely going to be selling this painting. Not really feeling it. <laughs> All right. I might get her to have a nap. She's just, like, exhausted. Can we ask him to leave? And then we'll go to sleep. He's just kind of hanging out. 
royalty or for okay so we're getting like pennies now all right so he's gonna leave <gasps> wait did our water just break oh my gosh yeah right let's clean this up or oh no we peed ourselves. dang it <laughs> holy cow i didn't realize okay let's take a bath um and then we'll go back to sleep man i didn't realize we had to pee that bad we're gonna sell this in the morning. Freaking April, she's just so exhausted. <laughs> I love that outfit. Oh my gosh, April. All right, yes, let's sell that. Let's go to sleep. Oh, we probably, let's brush our teeth actually. Let's wash our hands. I should probably put a door that goes right into the bathroom. I think that would like work out really good. For April, I mean, her poor bedroom, we definitely don't have enough money to really do any more renovations, but I would love to be able to paint her bedroom. But she's kind of the neglected one, you know, with children coming. <laughs> okay, so come on over, April. We're going to get her to go to sleep. Okay, oh my goodness, you guys. We woke up from going into labor. It's going to happen. Can we actually get her to have baby. April requires a bassinet in order to give birth. Okay. Actually, we're going to go to the hospital and have this baby. Why are we sped up? Oh, the poor girl is sleeping in the tub. Oh, I'm sorry, April, but we have to wake you up. We have to go have this freaking baby. Have baby at the hospital. We're going to join because we really need to. Let's invite Dawn. Are we gonna go? Oh my gosh, yeah, we need to watch this happen. This is April's first baby. I'm so excited. <laughs> if we have twins, I will cry. And if we have twin boys, you can say I told you so, but I think it'll be a girl. All right, so let's go ahead, order. Uh, no. Check in at front desk. Oh, she's going like right to the back. Okay, <laughs> they're like waiting for us. Where are we going? Yes, yeah, so let's go check in so that they can take us back to have our little bundle of joy. I can't even wait. You have no idea how excited I am. All right, let's go. Oh man, <laughs> she's got the pregnancy waddle. It's like the freaking cutest walk ever. All right, so where are we going? He's ready and waiting. <laughs> it's a boy. April just gave birth to a baby boy. The baby boy needs a name. We are actually going to the comments. And we're going to be choosing the name Aaron from Abby Walters. Thank you, Abby, for the name suggestion. So we are going to go with Aaron. And we're going to call him, um, ooh, how do you spell Lothario? Hopefully I spelled it right. We'll have to go back in and change it. So that was another good suggestion that we actually give the child the last name of the father or of the parents so that we kind of remember who is who. So our first little boy is Aaron Lothario. Let's go see him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait a minute. <laughs> if that wasn't a glitch. So meet little Aaron with his little cute little monkey shirt. <gasps> Seriously, the best day ever. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to send her home, and that is where we are going to end this part of 100 Baby Challenge, you guys. We finally met our first baby, and honestly, that freaking took a lot of work. Where's our baby? <laughs> 
Uh, are they just gonna like send him in the mail? All right, well, we are now home with our little baby Aaron. So make sure that you guys do give this video a very big thumbs up if you did enjoy and I'm also going to be now needing names for B and possibly C if we do end up having twins and some book name suggestions. So make sure that you guys do flood out the comments down below and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye everyone!